guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my brand new January month and January notes kit. Um, you can see already that the notes kit has completely changed, so why don't we go ahead and work on that first. Now, um, you guys can see I did do circles for January. Um, I did get rid of the old layout. Um, it is still available in my shop for um, 2017's old layout, so if you guys want to grab that, it is still available, but this is what I'm going to be doing for 2018. Um, if you guys do want the old layout as well, definitely let me know down below and I can offer the two different versions. But for now, this is all I have available in the shop. So I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of the difference. So this is actually separated. So down at the bottom here, you can pull off the um, smaller sticker. I'm actually going to start at the bottom just so you guys can see how I would do it and then I'm going to put it over the dots here um, and then why don't I go ahead and grab the other smaller portion just so we can kind of work um, with both of them together just to make sure everything is kind of lined up um, as much as we can do it you know I'm not perfect either so there can always be a little bit off which is totally fine um, then the other half box so in the older version they were all one box but because this was the newer like half box I thought it would be fun to give you two different options and you know it is a lot easier actually to put down um, now that they are separated so if you do have a problem like that one is a little bit crooked um, you can pull it up even if it is the glossy version. So um, the glossy version is technically not removable, but if you put down glossy stickers fast enough and you don't like rub them, you can pull them up pretty soon after putting them down. All right, and we'll go ahead and put down this one on the right hand side here. Um, and I just line it up against both of them. That way it's pretty centered pretty quickly. All right, and now I, oh, let's go ahead and put down this one. So this is like a daily tracker um, and we'll go ahead and put that right over the lines here um, to cover that up. Perfect. Now, I want to know what you guys use your trackers for. I know several of you actually have a lot of different trackers. I'd like to know what you guys use this for because I kind of change it up every month um, and I haven't really settled on one exact thing. So let me know down below what you guys like to use them for. Now these circles you can put anywhere. I like to kind of put it right over the asterisk because then that removable, you can kind of see the asterisk a little bit if you don't put the roses down on there. Now you don't have to put them all over it so why don't we go ahead and change it just so you guys can see a little bit of what I mean. So um, in the matte removable you can see the asterisk a tiny bit. The glossy you really cannot see it because it is a little bit thicker paper. Um, so you can put it um, like over it and then just put over another sticker on top of it but because all of these have little like flowers which I um, plan on doing for all of them just in case um, you're a little bit like me where I don't really want to see the asterisks you have the option um, to not actually use a sticker or anything to cover that up so I'm using flowers to do that Perfect, and then we'll go ahead and put down the note section. So I've made this so you can put it right down at the edge of the page here. Um, it's not going to cover every little bit of it, unfortunately, because, um, you know, Erin Condren's go right into the crease here. So I was hoping that she would get rid of that, and hopefully the um, next planner that she comes out with, she will take that away. So that is a 
look at my note pages. Now I also have some event labels here, so some smaller ones that in case you mess up, you can put them down um, below here. Um, larger ones, empty ones, and then ones that says to do, goals, events, and to buy. Now lately I've been using this to keep track of um, my new releases in my shop, so I think I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I am going to use these um, to highlight different things throughout the week, so um, I think I'm just going to keep those blank for now and write those in later. And then up top here, the circles I'm going to be using for goals throughout my um, month. So I think, why don't we go ahead and write this down. Let's go ahead and choose um, one of my pens here. What's going to look nice? Is this pink one going to look nice? Yeah, I think the pink one. Hopefully it has um, ink in it. Um, let's see. So I think right here, I'm gonna write personal, and then I'm not quite sure what my personal goal is going to be for the month, um, but I will think about that. Now the next one here, let's say this one is for my Etsy goals. Um, this one's for my YouTube goals. And this one's for Create Joy, where I have my um, sticker bundle subscription. So those will be some of my goals that I will be working on for January. So I hope you guys enjoy um, the look of the new notes section. I really like how it turned out. Um, all right, let's go ahead and set up our January monthly page. This kit matches exactly to the note pages as well. If you guys want to have them match, I like that they do. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put down the top border here. So this fits right on top of it. Yay! I love when it goes down perfect like that. And then on the right hand side here, oh my gosh, is that just not so pretty? I love the gold. I think like gold glitter just looks so gorgeous for New Year's. Um, I'm going to pull that up and straighten that one out a touch. These matte removable stickers come up just so super easy. Um, all right, now we have four different boxes here. So I think I wanna put this cute little pink box right in the corner here. Oh my gosh, because I absolutely love my champagne. Oh, I love it. All right, and then I think I'm actually going to put both of the blank boxes right next to each other. So I have a lot of room to write on here. I like to put other little goals or things that I'm working towards um, on these blank boxes here. And then I'll put the big champagne bottle down in this corner here. And if you guys can hear my door shaking, it is because Patty and Lily are outside the other side of the door and they are not happy about it but they have been on this desk just walking over my planner um, and not giving me any space so let me just go um, make sure they're okay <laughs> All right, they're totally fine, just being a little whimpery because the door was closed. Um, I left it open so you may see them come in and out. I did go ahead and put down all of the date numbers. Um, so why don't I finish this off and put down this month on the side here. Perfect. And then I am going to put down the rest of the sidebar. So you guys can see these boxes are the same size as the inside of the monthly boxes here as well. Um, so you guys can use it for that and just keep those empty. Um, if you don't want to um, put stickers down on the right hand side here, you can just leave a long running to do list and use these in place of these boxes here. That's always a nice option as well. So um, that is that. All right, now we also have Martin Luther King Day and of course, New Year's Day. So we'll put the New Year's Day right in the corner here and then Martin Luther King Day here and Patty is about to jump up, yeah. <laughs> they are definitely getting rambunctious. 
Now, for those of you who haven't seen my regular monthly plan with me, I'll put a little link over here so you guys can see how this typically looks. Um, I am just going to do the short version because um, I keep track of my YouTube videos in this planner um, during the monthly page. So um, I do have YouTube stickers that I like to put down each month, um, but I'm not going to put them down this time. I might actually just write on them or use the little flags, as, which is what I did last month. But I wanted to use these event stickers to mark my um, weekly plan with me's which I know I have been lacking on lately um, but if I don't have a regular weekly one I do like to do my monthly or any type of other type of planner video on Monday so um, that's typically when I'll have at least a plan video in on Monday. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I put those down. Now I will try to do videos Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday as well for the month of January. So that is what you should expect from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my um, monthly spread and my brand new notes kit as well. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.